We've gone into some more details on the major differences between Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PS4 and the PS5. What is it, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you all for stopping by. If you're new here and you want to see up to date on everything for the next generation and you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as being all the next gen consoles on day one and making tons of videos on those. But for now, let's jump into this. So as we know, Spider-Man Miles Morales is the big launch game for the PS5. It is a cross-generational game also coming up for the PS4 and we have some more information now on the differences between those two versions. So in an interview with Game Informer, the creative director at Insomniac, Brian Horton, talked about the differences between the PS4 and the PS5 version. So according to Horton, the two games will offer largely the same experience, but the biggest difference will come down to the PS5 technological capabilities like haptic feedback. This here says, apparently the DualSense controller will allow players to feel things like Miles' bioelectricity flowing from one end of the controller to the other. That sounds pretty cool to see how that would actually work when you're holding the controller in your hands if you'll feel the electricity kind of going through different parts of the controller as he's using his ability. The PS4 is going to offer just your basic rumble, obviously. On top of that, the the load times will be non-existent and PS4 players will have to sit through the loading screen and the PS5 players should also expect ray tracing. Brian Horton saying, we were able to take full advantage of the features of the PlayStation 5. One of those things was graphics fidelity, so you're gonna see ray tracing reflections everywhere in the game on PS5. That's not something we're going to feature on the PS4 version. All in all, both versions are going to be pretty similar, but I think the use of that haptic feedback on the control for me is gonna be the most interesting thing to try out with the PS5, so I will definitely be jumping into that and seeing how that works. Those sense controller seems pretty cool. I'm excited to see how they actually utilize haptic feedback on a lot of their games. I have a feeling that the haptic feedback will be really cool and will work really well with the majority of the first party PlayStation 5 games. I'm most interested in seeing how they will use that with third party games and how developers will actually take advantage of it. On top of that, it also has the adaptive triggers now on the DualSense and those those are something we've already experienced in the last generation with the Xbox One controllers where it can kind of change the rumble and give you more resistance depending on what you're doing in the game on the triggers itself. And then obviously with the PS5 Miles Morales, I think ray tracing will just make the game look absolutely spectacular and then 60 frames per second as well, which will be very, very cool. I believe Miles Morales will have two modes. It'll have 4K 30 FPS with ray tracing and then you'll have that performance mode at 60 FPS in 4K, which I don't know. I'll see the difference between both how I want to play it. Spider-Man is a pretty fast paced game game so I think 60 FPS will make a big difference in just how smooth and how fun the game actually is but I'll definitely check out that ray tracing mode at least for a little bit and then I'll probably switch over to the 60 FPS because generally I like playing my games with a higher frame especially if they're fast paced like Spider-Man. But yeah that's the difference between the PS4 and the PS5 version obviously it's not a massive difference it is a cross-generational game it is a game at the beginning of the life cycle of the generation for the PS5 so we're going to see obviously major upgrades going down the line in a couple years especially when Sony starts putting out those first party games and really pulling out the power from the PS5 and taking advantage of the hardware as we see with every console generation games at the beginning of the life cycle aren't nearly as good looking and fully take advantage of these systems as they are compared to when they come out later down the line. Anyways guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you getting Miles Morales on the PS5 or are you getting it on the PS4? Which mode are you going to be playing and are you going to be playing with the ray tracing on or are you going to be playing with the 60 frames per second? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you like what you see and you're new to this channel, maybe consider subscribing. I appreciate all your support and I'll catch you in the next video.